Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. My name is Jan. Today we're milking cows. Uh, it's just after four in the morning. We got a total of 329 cows to get milked today. And uh, we start usually just after four. So we milk cows twice a day on our dairy farm. Uh, we start usually around four in the morning and then 3.45 in the afternoon. So if my math checks out, that is about 11 hours and 45 minutes in between the one milking and 12 hours and 15 in between the others. So pretty close together, but uh, we got the double 12 parlor here and it's a parallel. So the cows are standing next to each other and we can milk 12 cows on each side. Milking should take us about three hours of actual milking and then another half an hour to 45 minutes for cleanup and start up in there. We're done milking group one. We're just grabbing group two now. And uh, we're raking the beds as well. There's always a bit of manure in the beds. Just kick that out into the alley. And then once these ladies are in the holding area, we'll grab the skid steer and clean these alleys. You can do it. Let's go ladies. Yep. Come on. So we're all done milking. The last cows are going to the sand pack over there. We put the milkers on the wash trays so they can all get cleaned. And now Slava here, he's gonna clean the parlor. We flush the decks, the holding area, and then fire hose down the rest. But he's gonna do all that. I'm gonna go feed cows. We just drove the feed wagon to the silage pits. That's where we always load it. But I wanna show you guys something pretty cool. There's a puddle of water right there. And that's because two nights ago, we got a nice little shot of rain, 17 millimeters here at the yard. And then uh, various amounts at our different fields. So it was a thunderstorm, gnarly thunder, big drops of rain. We were pretty scared we were gonna get hail there. 
but luckily we didn't and we just got a good amount of rain. We're desperate for rain at this point. The barley was starting to just die off. So that's a barley field right there. It's, you know, come back with a second life because of that rain and um, couldn't have come at a better time, honestly. Well, you know, a week earlier would have been nice too, but we're glad to get it. The first load of feed we're making today is for the milk cows. So first ingredient is some barley silage. And uh, just grab that right now. It's the afternoon now and we're gonna bale the grass. We're in our case 2094 and we got the round baler behind us, the New Holland. The grass is already half baled. So the story behind these bales is when we were chopping that rye, dad came out here, started baling like a maniac because rain was coming. We could see it in the radar and he got about half of the field baled before it started to rain. So it was super borderline, you know, depending on whether or not we should have been baling even that afternoon, but he figured, He'll get some off with no rain on it and it'll be nice green hay. It looks like most of those bales are holding pretty good, but uh, some are starting to slouch down, so it's not ideal. Anyway, we waited then because it got that rain that afternoon and then later on that same evening, it got that 17 millimeter dump of rain on it, which was the best thing in the world for the rest of the crops on the farm, but for this field with the hay, it was not good. So we had to wait an additional, today is Tuesday, so, that was Friday, three or four days, whatever, whatever that works out to. Um, and now we're gonna try again for the second time to bale this field. I want to quickly check out the swath here. So it's been windy all night long. It's windy right now. The stuff is still a little bit tough. Uh, I don't know. Fourteen four. Oh man, it's so close. I don't know. So yeah, this is the other problem. Like this hay is so close to being good, but uh, if it gets another rain on it, it's gonna be pretty much garbage. And uh, well, we can see there's a pretty good chance we're gonna get some showers there within an hour and a half. So do I bail this, take the risk of it being bad, but most likely it's good? Or do I wait, let it get another rain on it and guarantee that it's gonna be bad?
Well, we got everything baled. I'm gonna head back to the barn, get a coffee, and then we're gonna maintenance this baler, clean the windows, grease the baler, blow it off, blow out the rads in the tractor, clean out the cab, you know, make it, uh, make it ready to go for the next round.